Hey folks, welcome back to a deadly premonition. So I need to uh I need to go over to the uh the AG and check on Nick and Olivia. Uh because Olivia is, you know, tripping and Nick is possibly a possibly a a, a raincoat killer, or at least a raincoat killer's accomplice, because the other possibility is it's Diane. And that's, yeah, that's creepy. So, I've got some time. I guess, um, you know, I guess I should take a car. I should probably take a car, um, because I'm going to have to be following them. Yeah, apparently I'm, I'm going to stake the place out. I guess. I mean, it's a little early for the stakeout, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll drive. I'll drive. I'm using the wrong controller here. I need to be using my keyboard, not the stupid gamepad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I need gas. Why don't I get some gas first? Okay, uh, gas station is where? Um, 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 um. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm using the wrong, using the wrong key here. Um, is it that way? No, it's not that way. Okay, that's the ANG right there. Main target area, right. So where the hell is the gas station? Now, I, I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. That would, uh... There's Forrest and Willie. It's Keith's house. There it is. Okay. Alright, so I need to uh, take a left. So, Zach, this case turned into a multi Ah, uh, yes, that it did. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? Copycat crime? Sex related? Cannibalistic? Um, little, the all of the statistics? above? These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words. Phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight well, falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. Yeah, and this one you definitely this, qualifies. Right, oh, totally. No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Yep. Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. Well... But that kind of common sense never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you um, look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Right. Do you remember, Zach? The first case we handled just after becoming a special agent? Mm, no, no I don't. about this another time. Yeah. I don't feel like it right now. That, that's cool. It's cool, York. Okay, get some gas. Hi, Emily. Uh, excuse you. Uh, hey, FK. Out the way, dude. It's this asshole again. Mm. Uh -huh. Fill her up. <sighs> oh, God. Uh. Just. 
Oh, somehow it got more expensive. <laughs> oh, damn. Yes. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, I'll give him some money. There's your two Benjamins, asshole. Benjamin, my good buddy. Listen up. I got something new to tell you. Oh, yeah? Yo, thanks. I already I'll knew that. You thanks. One when I see you again. <laughs> so that's 300 I've now given him. Okay, see you later, buddy. All right. Let's head back. Okay. Back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pole. Head back to the ANG. Okay. Now <laughs> I'm on the road. Point of the right way. Yeah, thanks. 200 bucks for him to tell me something I already friggin' knew. That's great, Jack. Thanks. I, I really appreciate it. Asshole. Uh, anyway. Do you remember? How many years ago was it now? Hi, hey, Emily. That multiple homicide of young girls in that college town in Illinois. Ugh. All the victims were cut open from the throat to the crotch. Oh, God. Oh, is, right is this open. the one? During the autopsy, a second stomach was found inside what? the first victim's body. Of course, she didn't naturally Well, a no. Stomach. Most people don't. Bunch of stomachs belonged to someone else. Oh, Jesus. As more victims piled up, there was... One with two hearts, one with two livers. Seriously. Lungs. Different organs each time. Of course, those extra organs didn't well, do no. much good. Right, Zach? No. And they say too much is never enough. In the York, end, please. We arrested a professor at the med school. They found the body of his daughter dead and the missing organs at his oh, house. Oh, shit. You remember what he said when we took him in? No. I was ordered to restore those deformed bodies back to normal. What? And remember who he said ordered him? Who? An alien. Um... Well, of course, we couldn't arrest an alien, so we arrested the professor instead. Well, yeah, Serial since he was the one stuffing logic extra and organs sense. and shit, yeah. I learned this the hard way. <clears throat> that first case taught me that. Uh -huh. Since then, these cases just keep getting more and more complicated. It's a tough job. It is. It is. I thought getting experience while I was young would make the job easy. No. Okay, I guess he's done, so I'm just gonna... <sighs> Zach, looks like we still have some time to kill. Let's pass the time elsewhere. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, let, let's do that then. Um, why don't I turn around? Or uh, make the block, perhaps. No, I'm not doing the stupid driving game again. There was another really bad one around this time of year. Oh, shit. Three years ago. Remember, Zach? Um. Yes, that's right. That one. That one. Multiple homicide, same MO, across Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. Yeah. The victims were all average married housewives. But after being run over so many times by a car, they didn't look human. Yeah. Five victims in two months in the three states. Shit, dude. The way he killed them was always the same. But aside from that, there was nothing that linked the victims together. Okay. Well, they... They were all married. Well, yeah. But age, race, nothing else matched up. Tire marks and fragments of paint ID'd the car that was used. Uh-huh. That's where things got really tricky. The perpetrator used a 1993 model. Um, okay. It Death by caddy. In the name of one oh, senator. shit. No. I don't feel like talking about this anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's... senator's basement. I wish I could forget what I saw there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting out of the car. We're, we're going to the bar. So, um, a little little belatedly, uh, slowpoke.jpg 
Twin Peaks. Zach, is there something here that Twin you want Peaks to check out? Twin Peaks is we need coming. To be at Carol's bar. It's yes, yes. I I know. You just told that. me to pass the time elsewhere, but um, yeah, Twin Peaks is coming back on Showtime, and Showtime just uh, happens to have uh, announced that they're going to be doing kind of an a la carte subscription service for, and you don't have to have a cable subscription, and uh, it's going to be awesome. So I can actually get to watch this friggin' show. I love Twin Peaks. I'm good. I'm so happy. So yeah, uh, Twin Peaks um, means possibly a resurgence of interest in Deadly Premonition. Thomas, are you uh, moonlighting? <sighs> Isn't that thing tonight? Yes, it is. You're not supposed to... <laughs> Miss Stiletto Heels, a new cocktail made by Thomas. It'll... Okay. Gin and tonic. So Thomas is a bartender, too. Rye whiskey. Mmm. Okay, these drinks are going to keep us from getting sleepy, but isn't that kind of the reverse of how this usually works? Exorcist. Tequila. Pancakes. Four eighty nine. Holy shit! This is the cheapest food in town! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Let's see, pizza, oyster stew, a pumpkin muffin, meatloaf. Of course, Thomas is a Thomas is an amazing cook. He should not be a he shouldn't be a police officer. He should be a chef. Yeah, now I'm done. Thank you, Thomas. You're you're the best. Anybody else in here we know? Well, there's Carol, but she's a uh, she's a little busy right now. Oh, it's a, there's a phone. Okay. Okay. So what else can we do? What else can we do? Um, num, 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 num. I'm checking the time because I'm actually playing in the morning today before I go to work. Um, why don't I walk to the A&G and see if I can... That's not actually the A and G. Huh. Okay. Why don't I drive to the A and G? <laughs> Why don't I walk? Why don't I drive? Uh, make up your mind, Sarah. Yep, no, oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, um. Sorry, sorry. Whoever's yard that is, I'm sorry. Okay. So we'll just um just head over to the ANG, check on Nick, check on Olivia. Yeah. Let's focus on the case at hand. Yeah, let's let's do that. The murders with the red seeds. Yeah. Officially the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, mm -hmm. I've been unable to get them out of my head. Hey, buddy. I've oh, even gone through red. all of the files looking for similar cases. Yeah? And we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls. Yeah? And they were killed in eight different states. Shit. Dude they gets around. All seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. Okay. Oh, we must not overlook. There was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the, the red, red seeds. seeds. Right. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Uh, I, I, well, th I think so. Hey, do buddy. We can do and do our best. Hey. By doing our best. I'm Lights sure red. We'll Lights green. To go. Yo, don't they have any colors you like? Come on. Um, is he leaving early? Oh, 
Uh, he bailed early. Okay, real subtle, Emily. Okay, um... That's, um... That's odd. I'm not sure that was supposed to have happened. Oh, I have my blinker on. Nick, you, uh, you left a little early? Did you? Is Olivia chilling out here? Or is she gone too? Yep, she has bailed too. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm a bit early. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Okay, well, uh, here is what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to peek in these windows. You know, like a... Uncivilized person peeking in windows. Mm, donuts. God, I want a donut. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet. I want a donut right now. I have no donuts. I have breakfast burritos. That's it. Breakfast burrito, no donut. No, well, nobody home. Nobody home. Olivia is not sobbing in any of the booths. No, nope. okay. All right, well, um, there's a phone over here, right? There was a phone over here somewhere. General Mart. I guess not. Okay. Um, folks, I am going to go and uh, go save. And next time we're going to go chase Nick and uh, Diane down. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.